we'll now be demonstrating how to cut the A and B posts. Before we begin, we'll be reviewing how to place the prop's consumable metals in the proper places. Then reviewing some quick safety considerations. After that, we're ready to begin operations. The first step in placing consumables is to place a piece of box steel at the A post, making sure its length is long enough to come in contact with the vehicle's frame and the T-handle up above, then hand tighten it down. Next, place a piece of box steel at the B post, making sure its length is long enough to come in contact with the vehicle's frame and the T-handle up above, then hand tighten it down. Any person using the prop or in close proximity to the prop must be wearing the proper PPE. Now we'll be cutting the B post. Preferably, we'd like to use a sawzall. This accomplishes two things, one being the sawzall making clean cuts. This prevents the box steel from crushing awkwardly, which can be hard for removal afterwards. The second advantage is the ability to reuse the metal. If we use clean and purposeful cuts, the removed pieces of box steel can be reused for consumables in future operations, such as the strut tower or kicker panel.